On the day the World Trade Center was attacked, American Airlines Flight 11 navigated down the Hudson Valley, finding its way towards its target, past farmlands, past fields, past Indian Point, a nuclear power plant just 35 miles north of Midtown Manhattan. What if that plane had banked left instead of continuing on its path? What if Indian Point were struck by that plane? Con Ed got their permit to build Indian Point 1, the first of three reactors at the site, in 1954, on the east side of the Hudson River. Less than 35 miles from the heart of New York City. In Indian Point's nuclear reactors, fission takes place when uranium atoms are split. This produces heat, creating steam to drive a turbine to generate electricity. The reactors are housed inside heavily reinforced containment domes. Whether talking about an accident or terrorism, it's important to keep in mind that not only could a major release happen at a plant, it already did. Chernobyl was the worst nuclear plant disaster in history. If terrorists were able to interfere with the cooling of the spent fuel rods, for instance, by applying an explosive charge to the bottom of the pool and cause the coolant within the pools to be rapidly drained, you could have a situation where the metal cladding on the hottest spent fuel actually ignites, which would then start a self-sustaining zirconium fire that would then lead to a release of cesium-137. Then you'll have the release of a radioactive cloud similar to what we saw in Chernobyl. Once the radioactivity gets into the air, it's going to go the way the winds carry it. <laughs> 